Dan Norman with Empire Boxing Recap, and this is Jerome Ennis versus David Avenison. Going into round one, both boxers stood their ground. Jerome Ennis did use a jab and throw power punches to the body and mixed it up to the head. David did do a good job of landing punches in between Jerome Ennis' combinations. However, they didn't seem to have much of an effect as Ennis didn't really respect his power. Ennis had a really good display of offense in this fight. He was mixing it up touching him upstairs and then digging with the body shots. He was switching southpaw, landing straight lefts to the body, coming back upstairs. He really diversified his attack. I think the only improvement was to use the jab a little bit more when he was closing the distance instead of just simply walking him down and walking in the line of fire. As the rounds progressed, you could tell Ennis' body shots were really starting to get to David and he was starting to get hurt to the head as well. Despite the good display of offense by Ennis, I think he needs to improve his defense he was getting hit with shots that he shouldn't be getting hit with. Uh, he does have a good chin, so he was able to take it and continue on with his own offense. But he can't be doing that against the likes of Terrence Crawford. With all that being said, I do really like Jerron Ennis. I think his style is entertaining. He has skills. He's able to switch it up, southpaw, orthodox. And he reminds me of Terrence Crawford to a degree. He likes a fight. He's not afraid to get hit, and he doesn't play it safe. Uh, but he's a good enough fighter to get away with these things and put on a good performance for the fans.